Hey guys. Okay, so um, this video I just wanted to um, I wanted to touch. Up, I wanted to sort of start a little theory that I have, and uh, expand on my last video about my last hormone growth. Um, so as far as my last hormones go, one thing that I didn't exactly express is that um, the whole sexual aspect okay um, it's almost been uh, seven months now so that I've been on hormones and um, I've got to say that at this point I am absolutely impotent <laughs> Meaning, um, I am very much uh, capable of um, having any sexual function. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of curious if like anybody else has experienced this. Like, uh, I'll reiterate the hormones I've been taking. Um, I I did actually reduce my antiandrogens. Um, I used to take a hundred milligrams of spirolactone. Now I'm taking 75 milligrams of spirolactone. Before I took five milligrams of finasteride and now I'm taking 2.5 milligrams of finasteride per day. And for estrogen I'm taking still six milligrams of estrogen. Why? Well, I don't want to look like shit. Um, yeah. And, um, more estrogen, the more breast bro growth you're going to have, and yada yada yada. So, if you don't want to be ugly, then you got to take a little bit higher estrogen. Um... But anyways, despite the fact that I've lowered my antiandrogens, I can't... I'm not really capable of uh, even masturbating or anything. Like, and even recently I, I tried lowering it to 1 milligram for nasteride and uh, 50 milligrams spirolactone. And I tried to masturbate and all I was able to do was shoot blanks. That's the best I could do. And even when I try to do that, it hurt to masturbate. It hurt. Like, stroking my dick hurt. <sighs> yeah. So, if you want to still be capable of that sort of thing, you kind of have to be careful of how much hormones you're taking. Um. As for my theory that I was going to go into, um, I think I'm going to go into that on a different video. Um, as you might have noticed, uh, my hair is kind of blonde now. This isn't what I wanted. Um, this is almost what I wanted. This is the base color I wanted, but I wanted some uh, platinum streaks and some dark strands on the bottom. Um, but that's apparently pretty complicated, and I'll be getting that done in a month or whatever. But regardless, uh, blonde, I'm a lot happier with blonde than with the dark color. It was pretty expensive, but, um, let's see, yeah, pretty expensive. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, theory that I was going to go into, I'll do in another video, because this has already been too long already. So, um, yeah. Uh, see you guys.